My name is Steve, I'm from Technology Core, and within this video we're going to have a look at the drawing toolbar within WizTeach. We can access the drawing toolbar in two ways. We can either grab it from within the toolbar menu, go into standard tools and drawing, or we can just have it drop down from the bottom of our WizTeach palette, and then that will obviously follow us around wherever we put our palette. So, yeah, entirely up to you as to whatever is more convenient. So what we'll do, we'll just go give you a brief overview of every um, function within that toolbar. This here is just your cursor, so it just makes, makes it into your, into your mouse cursor. This is an undo button, and this is a select all button. Now, this button here is our, is our drawing button, so that will actually annotate over the top of anything. We can change the colour, we can change the thickness of it if we want. Um, and that will write over any, uh, any you know, web page or PDF or, or Word doc. So, um, going into a Word doc, if we just have a bit of a look at this. Now, what I can do, usually in a conventional pen, if I annotate over the top of that, um, that document, the actual annotation will sit above the document. So, if I say scroll down to the next line of, of words, that annotation is going to be sitting there and, and become irrelevant. So what I can do is um, go pen and I actually want to annotate in Word. So I want to put the annotation into the Word document. I can do that also with PowerPoint and I can do that with Excel. So if I select annotation in Word, when I annotate over the top of that, that will actually be in the Word document and will be saved within that document. So if I move the document, that annotation will move with me. Now if I go to close the document, it'll say that you've made changes. Do you want to keep those changes? I can keep those changes. I can email it to my students or put it up into an online learning environment. So that's, that's a handy tool. The other thing we can do is um, is we could, if I just put a bit of a space there, put my cursor somewhere. Now this is obviously a, a spelling worksheet, so I want to change that to, to orphan, and I want to change have that the proper spelling. I'll get my students to spell it properly. So what I can do is go pen, I want to annotate in Word, and I want to do text recognition. So what I do is I just get my students to write here, anywhere on the board, the word and that will put it into text for me within again um, also in PowerPoint or in Excel. Okay. Other functions are our you know, just your your um, arrows and lines and you can change the size and so forth. We've got an eraser, um, we've got different shapes that we can draw if we want. Um, we've got text so we can use our keyboard within uh, WizTeach or we can use our keyboard from our laptop. We can change fonts and all that sort of stuff. In here we're just sort of changing it so our default here is black and our line thickness and so forth. So they're your defaults. Alright, in here is our highlighter. So our highlighter works pretty much the same as our line. We can annotate in Word, PowerPoint and Excel and we can do text recognition. So if I wanted to, so, I mean, these are just spelling words. I mean, I could have a, um, a, a, a bit of text that I wanted to highlight particular words. So I can highlight the word and, and that will stay within there. So I can annotate word and, and it will stay within word. Same with PowerPoint and Excel. Here I've got my spotlight. So I can spotlight a particular word if I want to, or a particular paragraph, or, or say using art, I could highlight or spotlight a particular part of a picture which differentiates between the different artists and things like that. So there's many uses for that. Magnifying glass, again, probably used again within um, more of an art or, or a science tool, being able to look at photos or go in, in depth into video if you wanted to. 
and then here we've got our blind. So our blind allows us just to show parts of it. Good for um, websites or something if you just wanted to see a paragraph or I could bring up two blinds and I could just show one line within that particular document. So it's just a way of focusing uh, students into a particular area of the document. And then the last sort of one is here is our image library. So most of these are um, high definition pictures that we can drag out and put onto our document. So that just comes over the top. I can then um, change the size of that if I want to. I can rotate it. I can um, lock it to the screen if I want to. There's many things I can do. All right, and the last one is um, our clear page. So if I write on here and if I've got uh, highlight and I've, I've made a bit of a mess of it and I want to be able to clear that page quickly, all I need to do is hit that button and everything that is from within the WizTeach tools is cleared. It won't clear anything that has been embedded within, say, Word, PowerPoint or Excel because that's actually within the file. But any of the tools that you bring out and when you look at any subsequent videos with the, um, the literacy tools or the maths tools, again, that will if I hit that button, that will clear all those tools also. So I hope you found that useful. Have a look at the other videos that are in our channel. Thanks very much.